Well, let's give this a try. I'm going to show you some great ideas on how to use the warped masks and creases. And this tutorial will show you how to do so in uh, Storybook Creator or what is now known as Artisan. So let's get started and we will begin by going through our masks and picking one that we'd like to start with. You'll notice that the masks have part two parts, the shadow and the mask. So we want to start by adding the shadow and then the mask. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both parts and instead of rotating with my rotation button there, I'm going to actually go up to the arrange ribbon and I'm just going to do a quick rotate. And in this case I want to enlarge. Now we've got our mask and we're going to go pick a photo. And I'm thinking... Now one thing to note is if I go ahead and fill, you'll notice that because I have rotated the mask from horizontal, or sorry, from, um, yes, from horizontal to vertical, it will not work unless I flatten the mask. So I'm going to go ahead and either you can right click and flatten, or of course you can go up to your home ribbon and choose flatten from there. Now that we've done so, we can go back to our photo and fill the selected element with this photo. I want to create more of a vintage look and I find that the creases work so much more nicely with um, either a vintage or sepia tone black and white photo. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to my color ribbon, select sepia, and because this picture is a little bit more on, on the brighter side, I'm going to go ahead and just darken that sepia tone a little bit. Going to the color and curves and just grabbing my uh, center curve and moving it downwards just a touch. Now I'm also going to go into my favorite little area here and you'll notice with shadows it allows you to deepen that that color just a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and see what that looks like. There we go. Okay. So let's go back now to our content and go down here and pick a crease. I think I'm going to choose this one. And one thing I like to do with these creases is play around a little bit with the sizing of them and even the enlarge um, and widening them and so forth. So we'll just go ahead and place that where we want. And because this picture does have a sepia tone to it, I am going to change my crease to a sepia tone as well. I find in Storybook Artisan um, that is a better option with these creases. Now we're going to go up to our Format Ribbon, Opacity, and just bring it down to about 40% or so. Depending on what you like, it's sort of a subjective thing. Now we're also going to go back up to Color and select Curves. And we're going to try lifting the color a little bit, and that will give us a more natural effect. And let's add another one of my favorites here. And once again, sepia tone, drop the opacity. And go back up to color curves. And let's see. Do you like the look of that? I think so. Now again, it's all a matter of you know playing with it and seeing what you like. Now let's just hide these and base elements and we're gonna go over to we've got some squares, but I think I'm gonna try a circle this time. So again, starting with the shadows, we're gonna go with mask one. I'm gonna use the shadow or place the shadow first and then the mask on top and then we're going to go back to our photos. Now with our photos you'll notice I actually have two versions of this photo. Um, as you've probably maybe um, experienced for yourself when you're using masks 
one thing in Storybook is you cannot move the photo within the mask. So when you have a photo such as this one, I'm going to go ahead and try that. And it sort of, it cuts him off a little. It's still a cute look. But what I did do in this case is I went to my photo and I said, duplicate this photo. Then from there, you can notice this one is cropped. So I went ahead and selected crop, right click and crop. And then we want to drop, drop down the top edge just a teensy bit. And then you can play around with this. And depending on the photo, I find working from the left top edge down works the best, bringing in the right end and the, or sorry, the left end and the top left as well. And that will allow your photo to fill the masks a little bit more readily. And again, with this software program, it just really depends on the photo. And um, you may play with a photo two, three, four times before you get the photo to fill a mask the way you want. All right, so let's go ahead and we're just going to select this one. We're going to say fill the selected element. And I like that, so I'm going to leave it. Now, one thing I've noticed is with the creases, we're going to go back and grab a crease. And I'm going to select this one again. I am going to rotate it. And then we're going to drag it down into our area. And once again, I just like them a little bit thicker. They're a little mo more noticeable. So I'm going to just drag that to the left of teensy bit. Now to basically remove our extra bits, we're going to go up to cut and fill, select shapes and our circle in this case. We're going to move our circle in place and this may, you know, cause you to do a tiny bit of resizing depending on your depending on your shape. One thing you can do of course is go up to use original aspect ratio and that will snap it back into the proper shape and you can also use your arrow keys to shift it over in increments in order to get it just looks just so. Then of course in this case we want to keep the shaded or sorry pardon me the unshaded section and we select cut and that will format our crease into the shape. Now let's go up to um, color and in this case I've got a green background here so what I'm going to actually do is go to my color wash and I'm going to actually take this and move it into a green color. Now I'm going to also shake my saturation because that just drops the, the uh, brightness of that color down and gives it a more subtle effect. Now in this case again, format, aspect ratio, uh, pardon me, an opacity and so we're going to go down to, in this case I'm thinking 48 looks pretty good up to color and curves and again this is just a matter of playing now in this case brightening it doesn't really work as well let's try let's try the other direction and darkening it a, a little bit I actually like that better and I'm also going to go ahead and copy paste and let's turn it a bit and see what happens mm, yeah we're going to give two crease marks and you might even decide that two of the same in the same opacity looks a little too unrealistic. So we'll just maybe drop the opacity on one a little bit further. And now we are done. So that is how we use our warped masks and shadows and creases. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial. This is my very first one. So it's very exciting to get started and I'm looking forward to offering more in the future. Mm -hmm.